Hey everyone, so for those of you that watched my video um, about two months ago, you saw that I dyed my hair with the Clarhoy Blue Black Permanent Hair Color, and I'm going to show you how I maintain it. I haven't did anything to it until now because um, now I'm just now starting to notice my brown hair coming in at the roots, and I also notice slight fading of my um, hair in general. And you know, I did dye my whole entire head with that color. So how I'm going to maintain it is by using this temporary um, hair rinse. And this is by Clairol. This is the color bluest black. So that's going to coordinate with that permanent hair color that I use. And this is Jazzing. It says no ammonia, no peroxide hair color. Gentle Shiny Sheer. This is number 99. Okay. It says, Apply to towel dry hair in sections. Use protective cream around hairline. Keep off scalp. And then it also says, For a temporary or color refresher, process 5 to 10 minutes without heat, rinse, and shampoo. For a semi-permanent, cover hair with plastic cap, Process with heat up to 30 minutes. I'm sorry, my hand is like so unstable. Process up to 30 minutes. Um, rinse, shampoo, heat is not recommended for freshly relaxed hair. Now see, I'm hard-headed because I just freshly relaxed my hair. And I am going to put this on there and get under some heat. Because heat is going to penetrate my, um, it's going to penetrate my hair cuticle level. And that's going to really make the color stick. And also, when it tells you to shampoo, don't shampoo. Because you're just going to shampoo this color right back out of your hair. So just rinse it out. Instead of shampooing it out, just rinse it out. That's what I do anyway. You don't have to follow my advice. That's just what I do. So I'm going to shake this up. This stuff stains. Um, I used to use the color, for you guys that remember, I used to use this Fuchsia Plum color. To make my hair that pinkish reddish tint and this stuff will stay in your hair so don't wear your favorite t-shirt or anything like that get, get a towel ugh, and wrap yourself up in the towel and make sure you got gloves on because it will stay in your fingers as well now all I'm gonna do is apply this to my whole head that's basically all I'm gonna do let's see I'm sorry this is at a weird angle. It's the bathroom that I am in. You see that coming out? Let's see if I can... You see it? And I just smooth it on. Just smooth it on. So, I'm going to do this for my entire head of hair. I might put this whole bottle on there because I just have like so much hair. So I'll probably use the whole bottle, either half of the bottle or whole or the whole bottle. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! I scratched my hair before I did a relaxer. That's a no-no because this. Mm -mm. Don't scratch your hair before you put a relaxer in. That is a no-no. So guys, I'm going to finish doing this. And then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I applied almost the whole bottle to my hair. Just, uh, just a little bit was left in there. But I applied almost all of it. So, once I, um, phone vibrating... Just get my hair all up in one ponytail, twirl it, put it down like this, and put a plastic cap on there. And I'm going to get under the, um, the hair dryer for about 15 minutes. And that's all that I do to maintain this color. Just um, I'll probably put one of these in maybe once or twice a month just to keep the color fresh and looking very black. Also, I wanted to show you the mess I made on my arm that's gonna stay on my arm for a day or two 
And also, if you can see that, that's actually a deep purple. The Okay, this lighting in here isn't good, but it's actually a deep purple color. Even though the color says blue is black, which it will look black on your hair. But the cool effect, like when you take pictures and stuff with flash on, it'll look like black with a shade of blue in it. I can't explain it, but it's really cool effect. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Ooh.